can we just take a second to admire the greatness that still exists in Derrick Rose? Um, I know a lot of people are not talking about this. There's a lot going on in the NBA right now. The Warriors are kind of struggling. Uh, Draymond's cursing Kevin Durant out. LeBron is injured right now as I make this video. A lot going on in the NBA, all right? The Raptors are exceeding expectations. Boston is struggling. Chris Paul is injured. James Harden playing phenomenal ball. I get it. A lot of storylines, so you can kind of get lost in the sauce if you're not paying attention night in, night out. That's my job, okay? Derrick Rose is putting together an all-star-like season. I'm not sure if he'll make the all-star game. He's got to meet some qualifications. He's got to start enough games and be available. But he's putting up some all-star-like numbers for Minnesota. They're also not a good basketball team, so I doubt D. Rose makes the cut. But I just want to give this man some appreciation for his greatness, man. Have you seen Derrick Rose play this year? Well, he's averaging 18.9 points a game, 4.8 assists a game. Yeah, that's Derrick this year. This year. He's shooting about 84% from the free throw line. It's a career high for Derrick Rose. He's shooting about 40, what is he, upwards of 40% from the three-point line? What, 46% or something like that? He ain't never shot close to that from the field, from the three-point line in his career. He's 48 percent from the field altogether. He ain't never got close to that mark either. Playing phenomenal basketball for Minnesota. He, the burst is back. He doesn't do it every play, but the burst is back when he's heading towards the rim. And most importantly, availability. Been available for his Minnesota Timberwolves team 32 out of 35 games. That's the biggest thing with D-Rose. Can he stay on the court? Other night, I, I listened to a Dwayne Wade interview. And he was asked about his kids and his kids growth. You know, he got a young boy, Zaire Wade, who's going to play D1 basketball somewhere. And his young bull, he said, Dwayne Wade said he tells his young bulls, you know, when I need them to see somebody to aspire to be, I send them to Derrick Rose's house. That's probably as big of a praise you can give you can give Derrick Rose. He, Dwayne Wade said, I, I send my kids to Derrick Rose's house. He'll, he'll tell you about love for the game. That felt real to me. You know what Dwayne Wade is saying? He ain't give up. Derrick Rose ain't give up. I mean, he's dad. Dwayne Wade ain't give up in his own right, but he, he ain't talking about himself. He said, I'm sending my kids to another all-star, former all-star. He said, I'm sending them to D-Rose's house. Wanna know why? Because he everybody in everybody their mama knew how much Derrick Rose loved a game of basketball. It was killing us watching him go down with injury after injury. You know what upsets me? I get upset watching some of these guys who do this thing that they supposed to love. Because I love my job. I'm making this video at 6.50 in the morning. Right now. I ain't been to sleep yet. I'm not lying. I'm looking at my clock right now. I love what I do. The thing that bothers me the most is when I'm watching people make $150, $200 million. And you can tell they ain't got a passion for the shit in their body. Not a passion bone in their body for the game of basketball. You got reporters who love this game more than some of these players do. You got referees who love this game more than some of these players do. Some of these dudes that made their money, they don't give a damn about the game. It was hurting us as fans to watch Derrick Rose get injured. Injury after injury after injury. We like, damn, what did this dude do in his past life? Because karma got, it's got to be something this dude did. Karma ain't playing around with this dude. Damn, we like... Yo, basketball guys, what'd he do? Dang! He couldn't buy a break. And knock on wood, hopefully he finishes this season out and is able to hit free agency. And I'm going to tell y'all straight up and down. Listen to me. If you're an NBA GM out there, I'm not saying you got to unload the Brinks truck at Derrick Rose this summer. But one year for $15 million is suitable to me. You don't got to give him a long-term deal. Maybe give him two years for $30 million with a player option on the second year. So you kind of protect yourself. Paul Millsap got, Millsap got what, two for 40? Something like that, two for 50? Paul Millsap got a deal like that. Man, look. If he can, he's been hurt pretty much all of his tenure in Denver. If he can command that type of money. Dwayne Wade got two for 40 a couple years ago with the Bulls. Rose is better than what D-Wade was at that time. Watching a lot of these guys around this league collect paychecks 
ain't did a damn thing for it. Kent Bazemore, what'd he do to earn that money in Atlanta? I'm just being honest. What'd he do to earn that money? Harrison Barnes. I don't respect the Harrison Barnes. What a max dollar. Man, get, man, get out of here. Go get that to somebody you know gonna work their ass off every day. Go get that to somebody who you know give a damn about this game. Love it. Bre can't, can't breathe without it. Work his behind off to get back to where he at right now. Man, Joaquin Noah the other day, who got a big deal with the New York Knicks, right? Man, Joaquin Noah said, I had to get out of New York. I was too lit. What? Too lit? Man, you get paid to play basketball for a living, damn fool. I appreciate Derrick Rose now more than I ever have. And trust me, I appreciate him a lot. I'm from Memphis. He was literally one free throw away from giving my team, my, at the time, Memphis Tigers, giving us a championship that we desired very dearly, right? One free throw away. So I, I got a lot of appreciation for Derrick Rose, the basketball player, but not more than I do right now. Because this dude worked his behind off to get back. Hey, NBA GMs, you're going to give that money to somebody. Before you go give it to Isaiah Thomas, there's a guy who goes by the name of Derrick Rose who will be available. Two years, $30 million, put a team option on that second year, and give him a shot. Give him a shot. Don't waste that money on someone anyway. Give him a shot. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. Hey, the kids, they who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.